Hello, Jemalf here and in this video me and Fat Sunpro will show you how to farm red titanite slabs in Dark Souls. I am in the hidden bonfire in Lost Isolith lava area. And because of that I'll be using the symbol of Avaris instead of the gold serpent ring because I need the orange charred ring on to run over that lava. I'll also switch into some lighter gear here so I can run faster. And then we can go. With the symbol of Avaris and 10 humanity, I have the 410 item discovery I need to maximize the chances for the slab to drop. With my uh, slightly different look, I will uh, run over the lava. Here's a normally an illusory wall in this second building in the lava area. With the orange, orange charred ring, I can run over this lava and head to the ruins in Lost Isolith. The enemies I'm looking for are the Chaos Eaters, four respawning ones. While I'm running, I'm switching to the Rusted Iron Ring that will help me in the mud pit. I will, uh, I will go to get two of the Chaos Eaters. If you don't have the symbol of Avaris, or if you don't have the Ring of Favor and Protection on that you can't remove without breaking it, you can easily swap around with rings and just use the Gold Serpent Ring. And the Rusted Iron Ring is not, uh, not needed, you can go without it, but it will help. The Orange Charred Ring you need if you start from that bonfire. The other option would be to come from the Servants of Chaos bonfire, like I showed in the Demon Titanite farming, but the uh, Titanite Demon can be a little pain in the ass to deal with, so this uh, bonfire is definitely better if you just want the slabs. No drop that time, so I will continue towards the second Chaos Eater that is just over these stairs. In addition to red titanite slabs, these guys also drop red titanite chunks and occasionally white titanite chunks. But for white titanite chunks and uh, of course white titanite slabs, the better place is the tomb of the giants and the pinwheel enemies I showed in the white titanite slab farming video. Then I will head down into the mud pit, where I can find the last two respawning Chaos Eaters. If you haven't been in the area, you need to fall through a floor to access the area. Going down here and then to the left, normally there's a floor here that you will uh, fall through. I have, I have been here, so it's no longer here. I will go into the pit and towards the left for the first Chaos Eater. Be very careful with the poison gas attack of these guys, because that will greatly damage your equipment if it hits you. And then continuing to the last Chaos Eater. Being careful not to fall into those pits. If you haven't been through the area, in the chest at the end of this corridor is one guaranteed red titanite slab. Going around to the platform you can't otherwise access, where you can also find one uh, red titanite chunk on a corpse, and the fourth respawning Chaos Eater. Being careful with the gas. And for the next run, in case you need to repeat, remember to swap back to the orange star ring. And repeat. I didn't get my red titanite slab on this run because it is quite rare. I hope you uh, get yours if you uh, if you want it, and I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more Dark Souls videos and other let's plays. And I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye.